Till now we have completed seven theorems in this chapter and uh, now we are going to have discussion on our theorem number eight which is Telegen's theorem. And uh, this theorem was given by Bernard Telegen in 1952. Now to understand this theorem we will first understand the statement of this theorem. The statement is in any network, linear, nonlinear, unidirectional, bidirectional, time variant or time invariant, the sum of instantaneous powers consumed by various elements in various branches is always equal to zero. So the statement is very simple to understand. Whenever we try to find out the sum of instantaneous powers consumed by various elements in various branches of any network, we always find the total power to be zero. Now to have the mathematical form, we will assume we have n elements in n branches of any network and uh, we have voltages V1, V2 all the way to Vn and we have currents through these elements as I1, I2 all the way to Ln. And if we talk about the element number 1, then the voltage across it is equal to V1 and the current through it is equal to I1. So the instantaneous power for element number 1 will be P1 and this will be equal to V1 multiplied to I1. Similarly, for element number 2, we will have the power equal to V2 multiplied to I2. And for the nth element, the power will be equal to Vn multiplied to In. Now to find out the total instantaneous power or the sum of instantaneous powers, we will add the individual instantaneous powers we have for the elements present in the network. So we will have P equal to P1 plus P2 all the way to P n. Now we know that P1 is equal to V1 I1, P2 is equal to V2 I2 all the way to P n which is V n I n. And therefore we can write P equal to V k multiplied to I k summation k equal to 1 to n. So this is our sum of instantaneous powers or you can say the total instantaneous power and according to Telegen's theorem, it should be equal to zero. So this power is equal to zero and this is the mathematical form for Telegen's theorem. Now when we say the total instantaneous power is equal to zero, this means the total power absorbed, the total power absorbed plus the total power delivered and this should be equal to zero. So from here we have the total power delivered equal to the total power absorbed. So this is one important point. The total power delivered should be equal to the total power absorbed. And it is not very difficult to understand that Telegen's theorem depends on law of conservation of energy. So this is all you should know about Telegen's theorem and uh, now we are going to solve one example problem to understand it in a better way. In this problem we are required to determine the power supplied by the current source. This is the current source and we need to find out the power supplied by this source. And uh, for this purpose we will use Telegen's theorem. In this network we have five elements. And we will focus on calculation of instantaneous powers for all the five elements one by one. The first element is our current source and uh, let's say the power delivered by this source is P sub 4A and we need to find out power delivered by this source. So I will put a question mark here. Our element number two is one ohm source. We will find out the power absorbed by it. The power absorbed by it will be equal to 4 squared multiplied to 1 i square r. We will have 4 squared multiplied to 1 and we will put 
plus sign in front of it because when power is absorbed it is positive so from here we will have plus 16 watts now moving on to our third element it is r2 and for r2 the power absorbed will be equal to 1 multiplied to 2 why 1 multiplied to 2 because current in this branch is 1 ampere when you apply kcl at this node you will find current in this branch is 1 ampere so power absorbed by r2 will be plus voltage multiplied to current so the instantaneous power is equal to plus 2 watts now moving on to our fourth element which is 2 ohms resistor so power absorbed by 2 ohms resistor will be 3 squared multiplied to 2 so this will be equal to plus 18 watts and this voltage source is our final element and the power delivered by this source will be equal to 4 multiplied to 3 so we have 12 watts and we will have a negative sign because we know when power is delivered the sign is negative so in this way we have calculated the instantaneous powers for four elements out of five present in the network and therefore with the help of telegans theorem we can find out the power delivered by our current source so from telegans theorem we will have power for 4 ampere source power for 4 ampere source plus power for 1 ohm resistance power for 1 ohm resistance plus power for r2 resistance power for r2 resistance plus power for 2 ohms resistance plus power for 4 volts source and it will be equal to zero now moving forward we will put the values we know we don't know the power delivered by the 4 ampere source we don't know the power delivered by the 4 ampere source but we know the power absorbed by 1 ohm resistor it is 16 watts we know the power absorbed by r2 it is equal to 2 watts and we also know the power absorbed by 2 ohms resistor it is 18 watts and uh, we know the power delivered by 4 volts source it is equal to 12 watts and then we will equate with 0 now when you simplify this you will have the power delivered by the 4 amperes source it is equal to minus 24 watts and uh, the negative sign signifies that the power is delivered and in this way we are done with telegans theorem i will end this lecture here see you in the next one